Cold weather, huh? And now Longford Town have a throw in, and we know what Dylan Hang can do. We saw his long throw lead to a goal in the cup game here against St. Pants. Longford were on the end of some long throw punishment from Cove recently. It's hand into the penalty area. It falls to Shane Elworthy. Elworthy with the shot. It's blocked and it's cleared away. Don't see Elworthy in that position. Lou having a good impact since he joined Wexford on loan in recent weeks. Didn't really work out for him at Waterford, but hard to get a game when Ronan Coughlin scoring 30 plus goals <laughs> a season. That's a nice play off the throw in from Longford. Here's Elworthy with a chip ball over the top towards Whitmarsh. Again, it skips away from Whitmarsh. A mistake at the back. A big chance and a big save from Enderman Oak. His kick may have been so. Whitmarsh. Miss Rodriguez with the mistake. Chance for Whitmarsh. But goalkeeper does really well to spread himself, make himself big, and he keeps it out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Very important, particularly just sitting in front of the, of the back four. And of course, he's had to play set the yeah. back lot this season, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, very important player for the town. McGerson dropping deep to try and get on that one. And that's a poor ball from Armstrong. And there's a shot from Hickey, but he never really got a hold of it. Has been speculation linking him with moves to perhaps a Premier Division side. I think Jamar Campion Hines, another player that's been talked about as a, a potential mover on. That's what comes with success. And here is Campion Hines breaking in and he plays it in towards the path of Perot, oh. but what a tackle that is from Louis Temple. Gavin O'Brien is the heavily involved Shane Elworthy. Armstrong plays the percentage pass this time. Christian McGarson, he's beaten his man to that one. He lays it off to Wickstead. Wickstead spreads the play out to Kyle O'Connor. O'Connor's going to take on Duffy. Good cross from Kyle O'Connor. Just losing his foot at the wrong time was Whitmarsh to take this one. Quickly taken at loan, expecting the long one. They've switched off. They've allowed a simple ball to Armstrong, who floated in. Minogue got a punch on it. It falls to Wickstead. No room for the shot, so he lays it off to Whitmarsh, who does have a shot. And there's a shot from McGurson. I think it hit the back of his own man. So then he took a clever little back header. Again, that's a poorly placed Pat Lone, a chance to break forward. France Perot, no support up there. It'll run through to Jack Brady. Yes, it seems like it, we're long for our 90% to a, to a good chance. It just hasn't really clicked yet. Good switch of play from Gavin O'Brien, taken down on the chest, and then the head of Kyle O'Connor. He drives that ball straight into the face of poor old Oshin Duff. Still in hand. Switch a play out towards Elworthy. Oh, yeah. Elworthy heads it into the penalty area. Christian McGerson, what an effort that was. Bicycle oh. kick, but it's gathered by Enda Minogue. Win the ball cleanly there, the Athlone player. Here's Campion Hines. Noise levels have picked up dramatically around us following that Christian McGerson effort. Campion Hines overcomplicates it, but he's lucky because McKenna's there to bail him out. Ball into Hickey. Hickey takes a touch, drives in on goal, and he's trying to outdo McGerson with a shot from about 35 yards, but it flies over. He's taking a knock for Kyle O'Connor just put into a little bit of an awkward situation there. Did well to keep his composure, take the ball down and move it on to a man in a red and black shirt. Armstrong. Not too many beat Hickey in the air. He's done really well there, Armstrong. Wickstead up towards McGerson. McGerson's broken it down to himself, lays it off to Kyle O'Connor. Van Geenen wins the race, knocks it out for a corner. We're taking shots on from there. Campion Hines with the long throw in again. More height on it this time. Up towards Hickey. Hickey nods it right across the penalty area. And it's in the back of the net. It's Dulaya that has scored. We've mentioned Patrick Hickey. His threat from those long throw situations throughout this game. A loop on it. Let's see what Dylan Hank can do now. It's a little bit flatter from Han, but it's met at the front post by Elworth. They almost run through to Whitmarsh. Good brave header there. And here's Christian McGerson. It's in the back of the net. It's the fox in the box yet again. His seventh goal of the season. And it's taken a while for this game to reach Boylan Point. But we're there now with 1 1. Developing nicely this Midlands derby. At loan, looking to add the next chapter to this one as the ball is sent forward over to the first goal scorer of the match, Dulaya. Faces up Elworthy, skips by Elworthy, plays it towards the back post. There's Franz Perot. There's a shot from Campion Hines. Just leant back as he hit it, flies over. As the ball is sent up towards France Perot. Perot gets a header on it. And I suppose that will go down as a shot on goal. Brady. 
hits that into an area where there's more white shirts than red and black. That was a poor ball out from Brady. Good tackle there in the middle. Oh, and that's a strong tackle oh, from Rodriguez. He's yeah. gone in there, and that's surely going to bring a yellow card at least. Give themselves a mountain to climb, a mountain they did successfully climb, but only so many times you can go to the well. They did it last Friday night down in Limerick as well, don't forget, as Perot plays the ball into Connolly, but his pocket is picked by Wickstead. Good tracker back there from Wickstead. That's a better ball forward from Gary Armstrong. Nice way on it to Christian McCurson. Oh, and a crucial interception from the man who just went into the book a few moments ago. Both teams struggling to hold on to it here. Armstrong trying to add some composure to the attack. That's not a very composed clearance from Duffy. That'll allow Longford to come forward with Kyle O'Connor. O'Connor looking for the underlapping run of Wickstead, but instead skips around the outside of his man, gets across into the penalty area. Elworthy in the back post over the bar. Just stands it up, lays it back to Duffy. Duffy, it's a low cross. It's a good diving header from Victor Serdeniuk. And Athlone have left themselves 2v1 at the back. Elworthy's got it for Longford. He's got two men inside. Elworthy, oh, I think he's got too much on the cross. Duffy, little dig ball forward. Dylan Hand just allowed it to skip and maybe that was the wrong decision because Perot has gone on it. He's taken Perot down, is it, inside the area? No, it's not I even don't near. think so. Wow. Wow, it's been given as a goal kick. Away and it's a good long ball forward from Minogue up towards Patrick Hickey. Here's the substitute, Arego. Campion Heinz ball around the back for Franz Perot. It was a really good idea. And again, Route 1 football proving very effective there for Athlone Town. Long for trying a bit of route one of their own. Looks like Whitmarsh has been almost rugby tackled there from the substitute, Abde Kadir, who is already... Now, what Longford Town need to do is target him. Fair point. Two-man wall for Athlone. Actually, three-man wall, I think, there. As Victor Sardinio takes it inside to Christian McGerson! 2-1 to Longford Town. He's been left unmarked inside the penalty area. You can't do that with this man at the moment. He steps forward. Gives the ball to Kavanagh. Kavanagh to McKenna, who seems to have dropped a lot deeper in this second half for Athlone. Abdi Kadir with the ball towards Campion Hines. What a pass that was. Campion Hines has Kavanagh outside, but he's going to take a shot. It took a deflection off Gary Armstrong. It's going to be a corner to Athlone Town. They haven't had one of these for quite a while. Done really well there to beat Whitmarsh to that throw in. Duffy up again towards Franz Perot. He did have Connolly a little bit closer to him that time, but he couldn't take it down, Perot. But at least that loan had players supporting their Great man ball. there. Wickstead, Ooh. just off balance as he played that cross in towards the direction of... That's a foul there straight through the back of him, but... Duffy comes away with it for Atlone. In towards Connolly. Connolly beats Wickstead to that one. He gets it out to the substitute here, Arego. Arego with a cross and Temple got something on it. Oh, Campion Hines. <laughs> That's going to go out for a throw in. But it easily could have ended up in the back of the Longford Town net. That was a, Grown and a in lovely switch of play out to Duffy. Longford are dropping off Duffy here. Likewise, Connolly turns down the chance to shoot, gets it out to the Colombian Arego. Nice turn of foot. And a low ball in. It's ran through here to Perot. He does not miss those chances. 18th goal of the season, it's 2-2 in the derby. Noah Van Geenen skips inside, lovely composed play from the Dutchman. Here's Duffy. Duffy, curling cross towards the pack post where Hickey is there! Oh, and it threatened just to creep in over Jack Brady's head. Headed in towards Hickey, who's unmarked! Oh, and he was unselfish, he tried to find Perot. Oh, is that going to be a penalty? No, oh, referee stop. not even entertaining <laughs> the thought. But that is a huge let-off for Longford Town as the rain pours down. Longford Town are rushing forward here with Christian McGerson, who's wiped out. That's going to be a booking. Tempers threatening to boil over. Fish earlier trick, but this is a low ball in from the Ukrainian. I think he caught the turf as he played that one forward. Keep going... Great ball. France Perot, unbelievable piece of control. He's in here, Perot. Perot! <laughs> Gergi will get his first touch now because he's going to take this free kick for Longford. Five goals in the early part of the year. It's a quick free, th a quick, free, free <laughs> quick free kick. So quick, I couldn't sort my words out. It was Jordan Adeyemo. What a save that is. Bastian Heary, there's his first touch. 
Nice takedown, nice ball to Dylan Hand, but Longford Town want to get the ball away from their centre backs and up towards the strikers, and they're going to try that now with a ball up towards Duna. Duna's marker has lost his foot, and so Duna can turn and cross it towards Adi Amo. Great goalkeeper from Edmund Oak. Superman style punch. 